Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel today. Now EA have gone and released the official trailer for FIFA 21 Ultimate Team, uh, which we will be checking out and reacting to in this video today. Um, now very quickly before we get into this, I uh, just want to say apologies about the lack of uploads over the last week or so. Um, I have been back at work training and all that stuff, so it's been a bit mad. Um, but yeah, hopefully all the sound is good. Hopefully you can all hear this. Um, and yeah, let's just uh, let's get in and watch this. Take on the world with your friends and your ultimate team. Win together and get rewarded together in Fuck Co-op. Team up with a friend online and go head to head against other duos or solo players and fuck friendlies and bitch rivals. Please. Or play together against AI and squad battles. Why are the lines yellow? Individual weekly competitions that reward you for your team. Unite with other fuck players around the world with new fuck events. Are you hashtag Team Holland or hashtag Team Keelan? Pick a side and compete against the fuck community to unlock packs, coins, club items, or players with new team events. Or work together as a global collective and earn shared rewards by completing objectives in community events. So much to look at. This season, how players pass, save, tackle, and score in the real world really counts in meaningful moments. Bullet headers can increase heading power. Goal saving tackles lift players' tacklings, and long range streamers raise shot power. So when Trent hits a 20 yard curler in the top corner, those free kick stats what a free kick. get a boost to reflect. Alexander Arnold. Okay. Alexander Arnold. Oh, yes! When you're ready for a match, compete on your terms with improvements to core fuck modes that make games more. Why are them lines pink? Wait, what? The opponent. Go up against AI and squad battles to help you find your skill level in division rivals without the need for online qualifiers. But battle against other similarly skilled players around the world in division what rivals. Tackle? Where you'll be rewarded the first time you get promoted to a new division on your way to division one. Or if you want to try something different, shake up your team with new life fuck friendlies where squad rules and house rules combine to give you a range of new matches that change throughout the season. Welcome to your new home. Fuck 21 takes customization to a new level with Fuck Stadium. Inspired by some of the most intense oh, atmospheres in world football. And with endless ways to make... I don't know about City, I wouldn't really call that an intense atmosphere. ...to goal celebrations, pyrotechnics to TIFOs, change every aspect to your taste and to flaunt your achievements. And that's not all. As your Fuck Club grows, so will your stadium. With new tiers and new ways to make it bounce. And a stadium that good deserves big name players. Into yes. the Fuck 100. 100 of the biggest icons to ever play the beautiful game. From Pele to Zidane, Ronaldo to Cruyff, and now Lam, Xavi, and Eto, the greats are all here. Let's go, new icons. With new ways to play with your friends in Fuck Co op, new ways to compete and get rewards, and a fresh stadium to play in. Get yourself ready for the most social and customizable fuck yet. Okay. Okay. That looks mad. So let's turn the volume. Um, so what's this? This is like the foot friendlies mode, isn't it? Or the uh, co-op. The foot co-op lobby. Which I'm guessing is going to be a separate... Um, like a separate lobby to actual ultimate team um, and then you've got squad battles, rivals and friendlies there as well which should be pretty decent um, do that. go through this ultimate team, this is the bit that basically everyone wants to know about the squad battles, what did they get for that then? So the rewards look fairly decent, I'm not too sure what rank this is as it don't tell you but they got a 50k pack, 2 mega packs, and 65,000 coins, which is pretty huge. Um, obviously, that's the same sort of screen. Uh, what we've got here? Co op objectives. So, again, you've got objectives like you have on normal ultimate team. 
um, which I'm guessing is just going to be the same way you complete them, but obviously for the co-op zone. Team Halland versus Team Jal Felix. Now I'm guessing this is going to be sort of like a weekly, a weekly thing, as you can see there. It says six days left on it. Um, so I'm guessing this is going to be sort of like a weekly thing where you select which one you want to go with, and then you unlock certain rewards. Um, obviously for that. Yeah, so look, team events, Jal Felix starts, you get XP, Jal Felix scores, you get XP, Jal Felix hat trick, you get XP. So I'm guessing you either need you either need that person in your team or you need um or it just like gives you him as a loan card to put in your team maybe. I don't know. Um but yeah, community events, you've got win four matches and it looks like everyone gets a pack by the looks of things. And meaningful moments. I mean this is where like so they're saying that like say like like it said Trent bangs in a free kick from like twenty odd yards, then his free kick accuracy goes up. Like I feel like they should have done that anyway from like from Team of the Weeks, like but obviously they haven't been. Um so yeah, they should, like, they should be doing that really anyway. Like that's what the King of the Week card should be about. It should be their um, is that a golden goat kit. It actually is, isn't it? That kit looks sick. I'm not gonna lie, that kit looks pretty sick. But yeah, the moments ones, like the meaningful moments, they should have done that for a Team of the Week anyway. Um, just because that's how it should work, really. So what's this? Career mode improvement. Oh, core mode improvements. Again, this is not bad. Silver mystery ball. So it gives you sort of a little bit of a extra challenge. You can see there you've got the requirements. You need exactly silver and all Premier League players as well, um, which is a nice little challenge. And if this is the way that it shows you a person's team now as well, that is pretty cool. I like this a lot. Um, obviously, not with the silvers, but like with like all the other cards it's just going to look pretty mad um foot stadium as well so i'm guessing you're not going to get to pick which stadium you want it's basically going to start off as this by the looks of it and then obviously you work your way up um to add more seating and all that lots so i'm guessing that's what that is and then what did we have i'm sure there was a bit before this one Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, go back, go back. We've got stadium base paint, so you can have white, red, green, blue, orange, yellow, magenta, cyan, and I'm guessing there's going to be more. Um, now, there was something about, like, on the, some of the track pitches, they had, like, all their, their lines changed colour. I'm guessing that, sort of, like, is part of this. Um, what have we got? Home Bend Left Trophy. Tombstones, the Goat Statue, Jack o' Lantern, the Snowman, Scarecrow, Birthday Cake, Witch's Cauldron, and Treasure Chest. I mean, these are going to be mad. They're basically just going to show off what sort of what sort of player you are. Um, not like TFOs. Oh, look at these. These look mad. They actually look mad. It's going to be insane. And icons as well. Icons, icons, icons. Obviously, they have released all of the icons. Let's just go to... Aha, right. So, FIFA 21 icons. So, the new ones, as you can see. Let's... Uh, can we zoom in a little bit? So, obviously, we've got Eric Cantona was the first one to be released. Um, then I think they released Petacek, didn't they, a couple of days ago. And then Xavi. But, obviously, alongside them, we've got Ashley Cole. Um, I'm not too sure how well that card is going to be. Uh, we've got Puskas, that should be an amazing one. Uh, Schweinsteiger should be a fairly solid midfielder as well. Uh, Samuel Eto is going to be insane. Uh, Suka as well should be mad. Vidic should be an absolutely insane card. Um, obviously Samuel Eto. Fernando Torres should be a pretty insane one. Philip Lahm is going to be a good one, although he is very small. Um, however, it depends on what position they release him in, because if they release him as a right back, then fair play. But if they release him as like a CDM slash centre mid, um, which I know he had cards in previous FIFAs before, 
then that might be a bit of a problem because I'm pretty sure he's like five foot four, five foot six. Um, so he's not really going to fit the meta of a midfielder. Um, but yeah, as a right back, he would he would be absolutely solid. Um, but yeah, there's some decent decent icons added, and by the looks of it, they haven't removed any of the trash ones. So, like we still got, like we still got Larson was a trash one. Murislav Closer was a bit of a trash one. They still got the Carter in there. Um, well, so we got got Vieri, dead one. Sanchez was a bit of a dead one. Rui Costa and all that is a pretty dead one. Um, so yeah, they've still got some fairly trash ones, uh, but some absolutely insane new ones. Um, and they haven't actually said anything about whether they're going to be releasing um, whether they're going to be releasing them like they did on FIFA 20. So where um, from what was it from like the start of the game till like January you only had like the baby icons then it was the mid then the prime then the prime moments they haven't really said anything about that as of yet um, so I'll keep an eye out for that and obviously if they do release anything then I will probably do a video on it um, but yeah I think that is going to basically cover everything that they have brought out today um, I mean it's it's starting to look like an absolutely insane game which hopefully it is I really do hope it is um but yeah that's going to bring it into the video for today guys so thank you again for watching um hope you'll enjoy subscribe to the channel if you are new and if you haven't done already i would really really appreciate it um and yeah i can't wait for more fifa 21 content to be revealed so i can react to it and show you guys as well um but yeah that's going to bring it in so thank you for watching take care and see you next time goodbye